Bitch, I'm gonna be like, the fuck? Yes, I own a stripper and what? My bills is paid. You matter what? You wanna join or what? You can join, you just ain't gonna be in my room. Yo, I'm just, I'm just thinking about how good I look right now and how somebody should thought of your life. I don't short myself over here. I did that for a long ass fucking time and I ain't even talking about within that business. I'm just talking about in life in general. Hey y'all, so I'm sitting here doing my homework and I was like, why not film? So right now I'm doing an apportionment homework assignment. This is for my Math 143 quantitative literacy class. This is my laptop. I'm taking, it says a test, but it's not really a test. It's just like a regular assignment. Um, it's 15 questions. I started it on Wednesday and I'm just now picking it back up to finish it. It's not due until tomorrow. So yeah, I haven't done homework since Wednesday. Today is Sunday. A quick tip is to space your homework out throughout the week, like a couple of assignments a day, every few days or whatever, based on how much homework you have and just knock it out so that way you don't have to be dreading doing homework every single day also don't put a lot on yourself to do in one day either because why would you do that i'm working it out on paper because this is what works for me and i actually feel really smart whenever i'm sitting here writing out the answers and stuff working it out i feel really smart i can't wait till i get my ipad though you know manifesting it i can't wait till i get my ipad i'm gonna feel really official and all but the good old-fashioned way ain't never hurt nobody or anything you know we've been doing this all our life before technology even took its big ass peak among us if you still doing stuff on paper ain't nothing wrong with it don't let nobody um disgrace you or whatever or make you feel discouraged you gotta do what you gotta do and that's on period yeah, all right y'all so i'm on my last question i just completed it um that's Natalia J in the back, just in case you're wondering. Watching her chemical, chemical chronicles. Well, why did I say chemical? Watching her chemistry chronicles, episode two, preparing for finals slash last week of classes, chemistry major, Clark Atlanta University, uploaded December 7, 2021. I don't even know why I included all that extra stuff. Y'all know this extra stop playing. So, um, we finna see what I made on this. Yeah, we finna see our rea my reaction together. And hopefully I pass. If I didn't pass, this part not going in the video and now there's the other part so yeah we put a hit okay but fingers crossed because i really do think i did good because i put over here working y'all and i used excel too Ugh. oh they, i hate when they do this they make you click okay in the corner of the screen and see i took 93 hours and 13 minutes i opened this on the 26th but i didn't finish it that day so it counted all that time but hey at least i did it in 100 hours I got 93, y'all. Ain't that funny? It took me 93 hours and 13 minutes to take this test, and I made a 93 out of 100. Look at them numbers talking to me, y'all. Stop playing. Hold on. Let's zoom in. 93 out of 100. You know, I could have made a 100, but I ain't going to complain. So let's see which one we got wrong. Y'all, we love a clean kitchen, okay? So I just wiped down the stove. Don't mind the little smudge line. That's outside of my control. I'll clean, deep clean that another day. You see the little stress lines from me wiping, but it's clean. I could probably go over it with a paper towel. The inside was dirty because I cooked some baked beans in here and they splashed everywhere. You see the, the, the glitz thing? Yeah, did that. I... Y'all remember them dishes that was in the sink? They're in the dishwasher now, and the dishes that was in the dishwasher are put up. Hmm. Tell me I'm not that bitch, okay? Clean, motherfucking clean, you know what I'm saying? We love a clean kitchen. I mean, you know, we got the lights right here. I ain't been in my living room since I've been sick, y'all. I've been quarantined for about 10 days now. And then... Who else still got that Christmas tree up? And look at my plant in the corner dying. Y'all saw me set this plant up. That's ridiculous. I got this in November. It didn't even last me two months. But honestly, all I gotta do is like snip off the brown parts at an angle and the plant will just be smaller, but it's still alive. But why do I still have my Christmas tree up and my Christmas gifts up here? Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna take it down eventually, maybe tomorrow. I just forget, cause I be so busy, I forget to do certain stuff, and I just become immune to it until finally we just like, bitch, do that, the fuck? So yeah, that's how it's been, especially since I've been in quarantine. Like I've been, before that I worked every day. So literally I woke up, went to work, came home, went to sleep, repeat. So nothing really got done around here except like minor stuff. But um, since I've been in quarantine, I've been sick, kind of restricted to my bed. Like, cause if I wasn't feeling sick as far as like coughing, running nose, sneezing, stuff like that, like literally my body just felt weird and I couldn't really stand for long periods of time. So yeah, I've been here, but I ain't been able to do it still. So yeah, that's that. I brought this chair in here today. Actually, I was fixing them pancakes and could not stand. So I sat down and fixed them. Yeah, normally that'd be inside my bedroom. So now I'm going to the bedroom. Hey y'all, so right now I'm attempting to give my wig a skunk stripe. I washed it. Um, it was kind of impulsive for me to wash it, but it really did need to be washed. So I freaked out for a minute, researching on YouTube, trying to figure out if I could dye like strictly wet hair, because I did not want to dry it. But I honestly just put out the dryer, parted the part, and blow dried it. Hopefully it works, it doesn't fall out. If I fuck this up, I'm gonna cry because I literally took out the two braids I have in the middle of my head and redid them. That was already a task in itself because I was scared that I wouldn't be able to braid it because I don't know how to corner on my own hair. Someone else did this for me. But thankfully I got it done and I got those back flat because they had grown out. They were a month old so they were a little bit lumpy bumpy making the wig taller. So I got those flat and so I'm gonna be really upset if I have to do something to my hair after all because I fucked this wig up. So yeah, I took in the skunk strike, pray for me. Bye. Hey y'all, so this is what we're working with right now. This is the front, this is the middle part right here. And then we got it like that. Remember, I blow dried this part and I put it on. I like piled it on and then I went in and I put Vaseline on the bottom because I saw it going through the lace. So hopefully it doesn't tip the lace. I know they say put Vaseline on the lace and it should not stain through. So hopefully it does its job. And y'all, look at how I nigga rig this. This is my paper towel holder. My paper towels are right here. I took them off and I like, you know, it's a hole inside the mannequin and I just like shoved it up there a little bit. Like, of course, if it was a great fit, it would have just fell all the way down. It's perfect. It's perfect. And then I'm just rotating it. Ah, y'all can't tell me I'm not the shit, okay? Y'all can't tell me I'm not innovative. And then this, I had some product left over, so I just put it up here. Mind you, this part of the hair was still wet, so it probably won't even take, but I just did it to be doing it. So we'll see what it does. But yeah, y'all. So that's what we did. And yeah. Hopefully it turns out good. I like ran my fingers through it a little bit. And it looks like it's tinting red a little bit. But of course it ain't as red as I want. I wanted to show a little bit better than that. Well, a lot more better than that. So yeah. And I'm not putting a cap on it or anything to like try to make it process faster. I mean, I just don't feel like having to shove a plastic bag over a mannequin head. Cause you know it's not sturdy so i'm gonna be sitting here struggling and it's gonna be rocking back and forth but yeah this is what we're working with hopefully it turns out good even if it don't i plan on dyeing it fully red officially the correct way um soon so hopefully this works out for now bye actually it's a all right, y'all, so I'm a little annoyed right now. I don't know why I put that put that back in there when I clearly had just taken it out. Maybe it's just for the aesthetics for y'all to see me pulling it out. Anyways, y'all know I just cleaned this microwave and look. Some of the liquid overflowed out. I guess the good thing is that it isn't all over like this part of it. It's just this, so I can just wipe this really quick with a rag and it'll be good. But I've never had this kind of noodles before. So yeah, first time trying it. I'm just a little hungry, I only ate once today. And I'm like, what can I eat? And I just grabbed this, so hopefully it's good. Bye. They do look pretty cool though, like. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. They do look pretty good, hopefully they are. Might add hot sauce and stuff to them.
Well, I got out of class at like 9.50, 9.50-ish. And um, I sat in the car for a minute, like putting on my lips, com putting on my lip combo, y'all saw that. Well, if y'all did it, it's because I cut the clips because it was ugly with something. But yeah. Um, then I called my mama while I was leaving the school. It's 10, well, it's 10, 18 now. I'm just turning 10, 18, I was 10, 16, 10, 17. But um, right now, I'm just on my way back to my side of town because my school is so far away from my house. And so, yeah. Y'all can see my skunk stripe a little bit because the sun is hitting me right now. But I'm going to get myself in some better lighting or like go in front of my ring light when I get home. And let y'all see this. About to watch some. I was reading a text. I'm hungry. I low-key want to treat myself to some food. I should post on Instagram. Somebody want to buy me lunch? Cash at me right now. Hey y'all, it's Dosis the student. Just left class. Stomach a little empty. Did y'all catch up with some lunch? Y'all know that TikTok where she was like, you trying to get me? Yeah. You trying to get me? You trying to catch up with some lunch? You trying to catch up me some lunch? Is you trying to catch up me some lunch? Y'all, this is ridiculous. These is press ons, okay? Literally, I put these on two weeks ago on a Wednesday. Um, this hand has been intact all for the time and I had to replace. This one popped off, I never put it back on. This hand, these popped off repeatedly and I had to put them back on. I guess I did this hand way better than I did this hand. It must be because I'm right hand because I was able to do this one efficiently. But the I've been walking around with two nails on this hand for over a week. The other one officially popped out white popped off today when I was doing some IG and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all know who I'm talking like. Shock on the train. Follow me, say you don't like me. Little. Why is you watching me? Get me taking a seat. Never said I was gangsta. I say I was street. But please don't think that it's sweet. I know I be chilling, but let's shout with all of the beef. Say that I cap my raps. Dismiss yourself. You gonna see me in public and piss yourself. Tighten up. The Lord better fix yourself. You don't know who I am, better quiz yourself. You don't know who those are you better quiz yourself. Go watch all my other motherfucking videos, okay? It's 71 videos uploaded on this page right now. I done created more than 71, but some of them hoes private it, and some of them hoes ain't never get posted. You don't know who those are go quiz yourself. Go watch them shit, study them, research something. You still ain't gonna know who I am for real, for real. But you gonna know something. Anyways, yeah, y'all. So, I literally have five nails in total on 10 fingers. 10 fingers, only five press ons on collectively. Ridiculous. But um, I need my nails done. Cash at me right now, okay? Cash at me right now. Give me some lunch and my nails done. And like, y'all, I ain't been to like a nail tech with, with, to get no like funky, fun designs since like June. That's the last time it, it was fitted in my budget for me to be able to splurge on exotic nails fun glam nails um since then i've just been getting like simple french tip from the regular nail salon because that's better than nothing and then i haven't got my nails done in a nail salon since november for thanksgiving um so yeah i made me some press ons for my birthday and i wore those and then i got these press ons that i bought last year like in may or april from amazon these is kiss and I love them. They're so cute. Simple to the point. Y'all, I'm just thinking about how good I look right now. And how somebody should probably get lunch. Like, even if you're watching this video, even though this video is going to already be uploaded and stuff whenever y'all see this, um, and it's going to be like the past tense. I hope I'm saying it correctly. I still want y'all to cash out. Cash at me for lunch and my nose. Like, I'm gonna treat myself to lunch on Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? I got class. I mean, I mean, I have class four days out of the week. Okay? So, y'all.
y'all can treat me to some lunch every day if y'all want to. It just ain't gonna be on my dollar. Anyways, um, that's what I was getting at about my nails. I can't wait to go get them done like in a glam set like an exotic set not even exotic exotic but y'all not get what i'm saying versus going to like the nail salon and like getting amateur type shit like i've been fine with this simple shit and i be killing it like i i make a way i'll be freaking my simple steps and stuff i hope that light was green i know it was green but still i didn't double check before i crossed i need to stop talking because yeah i look good as fuck I was finna say it again. I'm not gonna say it again because y'all get the point by now. Y'all need to cash out me some lunch, okay? I know I done said it all these times that each time you getting closer and closer and closer to wanting to cash out me, but that one right there should have been the icing on the cake, so I ain't gonna say it no more. You ain't trying to cash out me some lunch because you think I look good. I'm kicking you out the trap house. We don't want you here. <laughs> I'm just playing y'all, but not for real. So I'm gonna put my cash out on the screen or in the description box or both and yeah any donations for lunch and my nails and anything else in my life like bills because y'all know your girl got big bills i'm a commuter student um i am a fully independent student and i need all the financial help i can take so yeah Y'all can also go shop, go shop my store if y'all want something in there for y'all. I shut down my tluxdosis.com and my um, dosisesthetics.com. But beyondtrepreneur.com is still open. So if y'all need like business and um, lifestyle tips, that's where y'all need to be. If y'all need a YouTube intro, outro, or banner, that's where y'all need to be to go buy one so I can create it for y'all. Or y'all can buy the ebook that I created on how to make YouTube intros, outros, and banners. It's called YouTube Graphics 101, and I give y'all the full blueprint on the apps I use to create my intros, outros, and banners, as well as how I market my business on Instagram and how I made over $5,000 creating, creating YouTube intros, outros, and banners for some of your faves, okay, and some of your faves viewers. So, yeah. Um, if you're interested in that, theentrepreneur.com is still up and running. So if you don't want to cash at me, because there ain't nothing in it for you besides like seeing me happy, then, then you can most definitely go shop my website so that it can be like a more even exchange. So yeah. I also have other ebooks up there like um, five tips to boss up your life. Cause I bossed up my life. I left that nigga alone and I've been flourishing ever since. You know what I'm saying? So I can help you with a little something. Look, I talk about how your environment is very important for you to be able to blossom and grow. I talk about um, acknowledging like your bad habits and stuff that are holding you back so that you can begin to flourish as well. Also, doing stuff for yourself and not for others. In general, like, I know I talked about this in my last video, I think. You can't live to please others. People gonna always have something to say. So if people gonna always have something to say, why the fuck you ain't doing what the fuck you wanna do? Why are you letting people who gonna have something to say regardless have an impact on your life in a poor way? You sitting over here not doing what you wanna do. Like, bitch, if you wanna be a stripper, go be a stripper. They gonna talk about you anyway. They gonna talk about you if you still sitting around broke on your ass needing they help. So why not go be a stripper because that's a field that you can most definitely excel in and make bank in. And they just gonna talk about you for making your money stripping. But bitch, guess what? Either way they was gonna talk. They was gonna talk when you was broke. They gonna talk when you rich, okay? Because stripping really out here making bitches rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never seen no broke stripper. And I'm saying that literally, but, and I'm not... I'm not glamorizing it, looking at it with glazed eyes. Like, I don't know that they have bad days and stuff, or they don't make the most on certain days. I know that. I know that it's like that for every field. I'm not saying that stripping is just, um, I'm not saying it like, um, every day they're going to make $1,000 stripping. I, I know that. I know that they're not, okay? This ain't the point of that. So anybody being a smart ass in the comments, you can cut that short. What I'm saying is, you know that overall, a stripping is a good field that you can go in. There is no cap to how much you can make. 
know what I'm saying? And like, you can very much go in that bitch and make a thousand dollars. You can very much go in that bitch and make 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. That's like the minimum. Bitches be mad if they make like a thousand or less. You know what I'm saying? What job are you going into besides being a drug dealer or being like a rapper, like those type of fields, influencers, shit like that? What job are you going into and coming out with a couple hundred dollars for just a couple hours? Y'all gonna call those 100, 200 nights bad nights, but that's that's the that's the shit for a bitch like me if who out here barely making like such and such a day working a nine to five you know what i'm saying and you going in that hole making what i'm making in seven hours in 30 minutes Anyways, this won't for me to go off on a rant about it, gonna go off on a tangent about stripping, but I just had to make the point clear that I know that there are not always good days with stripping. That's not the point of what I was saying. The point is, they're gonna talk about you if you're broke and sitting on your ass needing to borrow $20, okay? They're gonna talk about you if you're stripping and going in that bitch and coming out with $200 every night, $1,000 every night three bands on a very great night 10 bands if it's the damn 10 bands 20 band, 100 bands if it's the damn stripper ball or whatever the fuck that she called either way they gonna talk about you oh she's shaking her ass for cash but guess what i'm a paid ass bitch and i don't give a fuck i'd love to be a stripper <laughs> y'all i'm scared of shit but i'd be one if, if i felt like I'd be one for real. I'm just not in the position to be one right now. But I'd be one. So if you ever hear the dose of stripper, which I'm gonna keep my shit private just because my business is my business. Y'all ain't gonna know what the fuck I'm doing. But um y'all either gonna know about it after it's done and I ain't doing it no more. Or because maybe somebody found out Red like they was out ahead. And then they all give a fuck about nothing I do. Let me not say it like that. Then they all give a fuck about what anybody got to say about anything I do. Okay, so if you ever get out that dose of stripper bitch dose of stripper i don't give a fuck i was prepared for it to get out whenever i became one but i ain't gonna just go around flying my shit not that anything's wrong with it i don't go around flying anything i do motherfuckers don't know what kind of job i got they don't know where i work they don't know where i stay motherfuckers ain't gonna know where i stay motherfuckers don't got my new number and they've been texting me off apps for two plus years straight trying to link and ain't gonna link motherfuckers only know what i allow them to know they only see what I allow them to see. There is no way around it. So if I ever became a stripper and somebody felt like they was outing me, I wouldn't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, I had to prepare and bite that bullet to know that one day it could come out. And that's my business. A motherfucker can't knock me for shit. Especially if I'm a stripper and I'm making bands, bitch. I'm making bands. My bills is paid. I'm making my rent in one night. And I could barely make it in one month working a regular job working multiple regular jobs bitch i'm gonna be like the fuck yes i own a stripper and what my bills is paid you mad or what you want to join or what you can join you just ain't gonna be in my group anyways y'all um live for yourself okay i put all that shit inside my five tips to boss up your life ebook um, so I have five tips to boss up your life, the ebook. So that's as far as your lifestyle and your mindset and stuff, because your mind is key to everything. You can't flourish as an entrepreneur or as anything in life. And your mindset is up to par. Once you realize that your mindset is the key to everything and that your mindset is what's potentially holding you back. It can be like your biggest downfall. That's when you'll actually start putting the effort to developing yourself and developing that discipline that, um, Go get her hustle mindset. Like, once you get that mentality down the par and you realize, like, this shit ain't gonna work if I don't work, you realize that with consistency, without consistency, this shit ain't gonna pop. So I ain't gonna pop. Once you get that mentality down pat, ain't nothing anybody can tell you. Ain't shit anybody can do to stop you. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can get that five tips to boss up your life ebook. I had it at like $55.55. Yeah, 
you know that five 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 so um yeah but i think i dropped it to like five dollars i'm honestly stuck between how i want to price my stuff but if it's at five dollars right now y'all most definitely should go cop that you know what i'm saying so um red light camera ahead i got that and then i got the youtube graphics 101 now that's gonna cost you a penny because that's an investment y'all out here paying for these lash classes and getting certified and then y'all start making banking lashes y'all paying for these certification courses to learn forex to um to um y'all out here going to school investing in your education so that y'all can become doctors nurses lawyers um entrepreneurs all this stuff but y'all can't invest in an ebook that's gonna give you everything that you need and yeah you can go to fucking youtube and google which is fine which is fine you can go to youtube or google the free route or you can expect me to hand it to you free but i'm not but you can do all that but it's gonna take you three to six months maybe even a year to accumulate all the information you need all the apps you need and um all the other resources you need how to market your business da 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 da, da. it's gonna take you three to six months maybe even a year to accumulate all that information when i'm literally giving it to you in an ebook i got the whole blueprint for you you don't gotta go searching for all that you paying for learning the skill and you paying for everything else to come with you that's a four for four for four that's a five for five six for six you know what i'm saying like stop shorting yourself okay either you gonna like ain't nothing wrong with finding it out free because bitch i found it out free but i found it out free on accident i didn't go looking for it i was just sitting in my bed in my mama's bed one day on break from college and i saw how to make a i saw how to make an intro video i watched it it sparked my brain and i was like okay let me do this i made one turn around made like three for like people in the house and then it just turned into a business and here i am five thousand plus dollars away five thousand plus dollars later um honestly it's probably more at this point i just been saying five thousand plus for like the last year but like it's real out here it's money in that like literally like that's iphone money you know what i'm saying that's wi-fi money like i can reach anybody anywhere providing them services like digitally versus me having to physically work on someone i can only do so many clients a day and i can only do people within my location who are coming to my location with me with me on that wi-fi money that digital money i can reach anybody anywhere anytime as many people also like especially if y'all buy my ebook versus me like creating the search so honestly i hate making intros outros and banners now i did it so much i fucking hate it so that's why if you go on my website and you want to buy one, you're going to pay a pretty penny. Because you're going to pay me for my time because I'm good at the shit. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm the goat at the shit. And I don't like doing it even though I'm goaded at it. So y'all going to pay me for it because I got bills too. And everything needs to be accounted for. I ain't shorting myself. So don't come up there thinking you're going to pay no cheesy. I ain't going to call it cheesy because $20 ain't cheesy. You know what I'm saying? Every dollar motherfucking count. But... Don't come up there thinking you're gonna pay five, ten dollars for no damn intro, bitch. You got the wrong bitch. You got the wrong bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't short myself over here. I did that for a long ass fucking time, and I ain't even talking about within that business. I'm just talking about in life in general. I've shorted myself too many motherfucking times, and I learned that closed mouths don't eat. You know what I'm saying? Closed mouths don't get fed. Okay? And a hard head makes a soft ass. And if you don't work, you don't motherfucking eat. If you ain't got the money, your bills can't get paid. So what the fuck I look like shorting myself and I'm out here in the real world with the wolves. Bitch, I got rent. I got car insurance, car payments, gas, light bill, um, groceries, phone bill, Wi-Fi, car maintenance, hair, nails, subscriptions. It's so much more stuff I could list that I can't even think of right now because my brain's stuck. But I'm out here with the dogs for real and I'm doing this shit myself, trying to do this shit myself. So I ain't finna hear none of that shit. Look, you going to that website, pay the cost or don't. You ain't stopping me. Look, I ain't got to do the service. 
No, I don't like doing it anyway. I don't gotta do it. I'm happy, bitch. But understand that if you, if I'm doing it, you gonna pay that motherfucking price, and that's all I'm saying. There is no other way around it. You really got me fucked up right now. You really got me fucked up. Y'all, this Jeep really has me fucked up. Yeah, like I said, understand that if you want, it's fine if you don't want to pay for it. You know, go to someone else who's cheaper or figure out how to do it yourself. Something, whatever, something. It just ain't gonna involve me. But understand that if you want me to do it, if you want it done by dosage, if you want the entrepreneur, the motherfucking entrepreneur to touch that shit, you gonna pay the penny. You gonna pay the price. Big or little. Tall or small. <laughs> short or long <laughs> you gonna pay that fee bitch okay i ain't shorting myself for no goddamn body and i don't give no fucks okay because it's a it's a cold cold world out here and i ain't not eating for nobody mine ain't not eating for nobody i'm out here hustling with a purpose I got a plan. I know what the fuck I want to do in my life. Shit, just about. <laughs> I know what the fuck I want to do in my life, and I got too many damn skills. I'm too motherfucking goaded and too much damn shit for me to, for me and mine to not be eating easily and with hard work. So no, no. Go grab that. So I got YouTube Graphics 101. That's the skill set. Okay, that's your side hustle. I got five sisters to boss up your life. That's the mindset. You need that for anything. So even if you ain't got no business and blah, 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 you need that ebook to, um, you need that ebook just in general, okay? Work on your mind. And like I said, that one's, I think, like $5 on the website. Also, keep in mind that I got shop pay on my website. So you can pay for any of this stuff. Um, as long as like the minimum is five, the minimum is fifty dollars. So I got shop pay on the website and all this stuff that I'm talking about. Red light camera ahead. You can um pay in increments of four. If it's fifty dollars, you're gonna pay like thirteen and some change. So literally, like if you do, if your pocket, if your pockets are all the way up to par, which ain't nothing with that, ain't nothing wrong with that. I understand. Look, I prefer you to use shop pay versus not paying at all. So, you know, that's more coins in my pocket versus not making the sale. But um, if you don't have all of the funds, it's okay. You shop pay at checkout and you can pay in four increments. So if it's $60 for something on the site, you'll pay today 15 and then two weeks from now 15 and then so on until the $60 is paid off. So pay every two weeks in, in four quadrants and boom so y'all can go use that at checkout support me I, I i don't i'm a whole entrepreneur and i've been one for years honestly and i don't talk about my business is a lot on my channel and that's something i really need to start doing because i be feeling like my platform my platform isn't that big necessarily i been on youtube off and on being inconsistent and consistent for about two years now and i like never shout out my businesses like hardly ever like people probably can't even tell that i have a business outside of whenever i did my intros and i'd be like um the entrepreneur or t the trapper you know my business i base it around everything hustle everything like I, like i threw in some medicinal slang with it and stuff because like <laughs> it's just it, it's either in you or it ain't you know what i'm saying look i'm a, I'm a drug dealer i'm just a legal one okay i ain't dealing drugs i'm dealing lashes i'm dealing i'm dealing business and lifestyle tips i'm dealing everything if it's my business i'm dealing it i'm trapping you know this the trap mobile okay her name is tina montana aka the trap mobile this is my car name i literally named her tina montana her name has been tina montana from the day i got her and i recorded that for y'all and i gave y'all the whole car tour it's on my channel that's like that's my first video that i did whenever it ain't the first video on my channel, but it's the first video of me officially starting like my journey of consistently creating YouTube videos, even though I fell off at some points. But I did this video and it literally got views like within that day. Like I realized, cause like all my views will come from me whenever I upload it. So fun, quick little story time. All my views come from me whenever I will upload and still kind of do sometimes. 
but um a lot of my views are videos are like trending now so they're going up in views like every single day either slowly or highly and stuff you know i'm very i stalk my analytics okay i understand this youtube shit the only thing i gotta do is just be consistent so and that's the only thing you gotta do too is just be consistent like be quality have quality within your shit and know what to do on the back end and like i i'm good with that my only problem is consistency consistency may not be your only problem though your only problem maybe you don't understand stuff on the back end and you understand stuff on the back end so go do your research because i do my research you know what i'm saying if it's something that you want to excel in and make money from and just that you're passionate about do your research you can't flourish if you don't know how to work the shit so um back to it i posted all my views like would come from me whenever i watched the video it never like really did anything so I know I posted a video that day and I was in my friend's house and I came back and I knew I hadn't watched the video yet but I saw I had like 8 or 12 views and I was like what? and I had to think I'm like bitch you ain't been watching your video you've been out all day I was like oh shit you getting views yay and so that video like slowly but surely like began to accumulate more views and then like that ain't the first video that kind of did good though I had a video before then from like a year before that that was a um how to make your how to make a motion portrait how to make a picture talk video and that one like was my first one that hit like 1k plus views it's at like three something 3k something now so yeah that's still my highest viewed video but i think my car one is like my second most viewed one and that one has a good amount of views like over 2k plus probably but um you know that's good in comparison to my channel which is still good overall bitch if i say it's good it's good I ain't even finna make a comparison to another channel like y'all might be doing. That's y'all thinking small minded. Okay, that's good for my channel because my channel hasn't really hit had it hadn't really hit those milestones before and I'm still in the stage. Yeah, that was the start of my journey and shit. And but basically in general throughout my whole YouTube career thus far. I don't shout out my business in every video. I don't tell y'all to go shop. I don't tell y'all what to shop. I don't tell y'all who I am. I be forgetting. When I do these vlogs and stuff, I be forgetting to do my intro. So, after I finish this part, I'm going to do my intro and then I'm going to remember to put it at the beginning of the video and the, whenever I edit. But, um, I be forgetting, like, to shout out and to shout out my businesses and, like, tell y'all what I do, how I do it tell y'all why y'all need it like marketing like i could be my business mark biggest marketer and even though even though um my platform isn't that big it's still probably a good amount of people who consistently watch me even though like they don't interact with me and i'd love for y'all to interact with me so i need y'all to like start commenting and stuff like talking to me because i want to talk to y'all i want to know y'all you know what i'm saying like Go follow me on Instagram at T Lux Dosage, Twitter at T Lux Dosage, Pinterest at the T H E E T Lux Dosage, TikTok T Lux Dosage. You know I'm popping on TikTok. Go follow me, okay? Um, just in general, I want to build like I want that. I want that. I want to be able to interact with y'all. I want that. I want to build that companionship, that relationship between y'all. Like, y'all the trap house. Like, y'all the ones supporting me, making me me. Y'all the ones growing my channel. I'm not monetized, okay? I'm on the road to monetization, okay? I need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, okay? Because who don't want to make money from stuff that they're passionate about? And I'm passionate about this. Clearly, I've been doing it for so long and I'm still growing. I may have fell off a, f a couple fucking times, but that don't damn matter, bitch. I'm still going. Um... This is something I'm clearly passionate about. I don't just throw videos together and call it a, a video. Like, I take time throughout my editing. I try to make sure I don't have any excess clips inside of it. I do like the cool little vibey intros. I pick nice music. I make sure the videos is just a vibe and it's aesthetically pleasing and it's all that. And I don't just be coming up here looking any type of way, which if I did, it don't fucking matter because bitch, I'm grown and I pay my own bills and I'm grown and I can do what I want and I can come up here and look in any type of way if I wanted to but I don't like yeah I'm just um even though my platform isn't that hefty so like if I name drop my business it ain't like I'm gonna get 20 sales instantly or 100 sales instantly but still like if I get that one random person from who support me and they go like 
shop my business because I shouted it out in my video. That's better than nothing. That's better than receiving nothing. So that's what I need to start doing because that'll elevate my pockets in the meantime too while I'm still not monetized. But like I said, we are on the road to monetization. Um, your girl wants to start making money up here sooner than later. So make sure y'all watching my videos. Make sure if you're watching this, you're subscribed. And yeah, I'm gonna let y'all later though. I'm at Walmart now, it's 10.50. I'm kinda getting a headache. I'm gonna sit in here for a little longer just to, just to give myself some air because I'm not trying to go in here and feel like I got a fake or something. Yeah, my body probably weak. Oh yeah, because last night I was hungry as shit last night. And I had, I only had one big meal yesterday and then I fixed me some noodles for lunch, I mean, before bed because like I was feeling hungry. I ate those, it had me full for like an hour. I was so starving laying in bed last night, I could not go to sleep. I had to get up and go eat me a slice of cake and that helped and I chilled some water. And then this morning all I've had was a pecan swirl and or pecan twirl, whatever it's called. And so now I'm kind of getting a headache and I'm feeling kind of weak. That's because I'm just sitting here talking though and I'm kind of like stuffy being in this thick ass coat. So, um, yeah. I cannot find my Apple Watch, y'all. It's really making me mad because that's a part of me. And I don't feel complete if my Apple Watch is gone. But it says it's at my house, but I checked everywhere in my house. Like, there's only so many places it could be in my house anyway. I only put it in one spot and I can't find it. It's really, it's really disturbing. It's really upsetting. But, um, so yeah, I'm feeling really kind of weak right now. So, I'm gonna try to eat something. I don't want another one of these pecan swirls. So, bitch, name what you want. Would you rather pass out on the stove or eat a pecan swirl? Bye, y'all, because I'm going to start talking to myself. <laughs> like, giving myself a pep talk and, like, disciplining myself. You see, that's why you need to get the five tips to boss up your life ebook. Because when your mindset is strong, even though you don't want to do something, you know you got to do it. And if your mind, if your brain, if you weak-minded, if you don't got the discipline, if you don't understand certain tactics, you can't discipline yourself. You can't be that own voice in your head but outside of someone else to tell you, bitch, you need to do this or bitch, you need to do that. And yes, it's good to have it from an outside source, but you got to be that for yourself too. You got to be able to kiss your own bruises, wipe your own tears. Cross your own T's, dot your own I's. You gotta be able to support yourself before anybody else could ever support you. How in the hell could you expect for anybody else to support you anyway if you can't support you? And I'm not talking about just finances. Like I said, I'm gonna go down real soon, yeah. But I know I just dropped some gems on y'all. I know y'all love me. I know you love me. I know you don't love me. I know you do love me. Man, I done took off, bitch. I'm out of here. I'm on a ship out of space. I'm a rocketeer.